à vos signes. Je ne suis pas sûre si vous avez reçu le, le fichier en PDF ou pas. Au cas où... Oh, non. Très bien. Donc, il a mal à l'école. Est-ce que la couture pour slide, il y a un idéal Oui. Yeah. Ok. Oui, non. D'accord. Euh, je l'ai envoyé à Ilias, normalement. Il va le partager avec vous maintenant. Et je vous laisse à peu près 5 minutes, si vous voulez, pour uh, to read the questions and everything. And then you can start. C'est juste a review. Donc, le premier cours, just a review to see what you're at. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. In English, please.
Okay. So, uh, the first part or activity number one, the test is about computers and the other uses of computers. So, who would like to read the first sentence? Please. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you hear me better now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, way better. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, the uh, the mic was a little bit uh far. So, um, who would like to read the first sentence? Oh yeah, sorry about the background. I I think I took care of it. It won't be a problem anymore. So. Yeah. Hello. I'm not saying anything right now. I said I need someone to read the first sentence. See, I just need to know that you are able to use the platform. So. Uh, no miss. Yes, please, of course. Yes. It's a calculating machine. Next time, uh, It's a calculating machine that uh, speeds up financial calculation. Okay. The second one. Uh, we visit shops and offices which have been designed with the help of computers. Perfect. Next one. You can even use your PC to relax with computer games. Mm -hmm. For example, calculators, the car's electronic uh, ignition, the time, the timer in the microwave, or the programmer inside the VCR. Okay, and then the last one. The last one, as doing, uh, uh, as does making a flight reservation or a bank or a bank transition transaction. 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 Okay, so are the sentences clear for you? Yes, miss. Okay, perfect. So now we need to go through. Okay, sorry about that. So, so these sentences that your classmate just read, you need to fill them in the gaps given. Um, you want to move to Google? It will take a little bit time to set up Google Meet right now.
Okay, if you want to use Google Meet the next time, we will. But right now, please, we need to finish this at least. So these are just simple activities for you to review what you have done last year. So let's just do this for now. And then next time, we'll set up Google Meet for the next session. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, who wants to try and do the first one? Oh, you did. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. But you have studied English before. Vous avez fait déjà anglais. Donc, essayons de faire les exercices ensemble, if you like. I, I won't give you activity to do, to do them by yourself, on your own. We can do them all together. Just please unmute your microphones and let's go through them all together at the same time. Okay? Okay, miss. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So, I will read the text. And then I will stop at each blank, and you will try to use the sentence from one to five to fill in the gaps. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so, the magic of computers. We are now living in what some people call the digital age, meaning that computers and microchips have become part of our everyday lives. We have the first blank. The second one. No, no, just, ah, okay, so we will try. We can try and we will see. Okay? I will give you the answer. You will try to find them yourself. So, number one, at A, we did shop that and office have the design we have. Is that it? Okay. I think so, yes. Okay. The next one. We pay bills prepared by computers. Just picking up a telephone and dialing a number involves the use of a sophisticated, sophisticated sorry, computer system. So B. First one, madam. It is a country. Five. Um, five. Okay, what do you say? Probably the first one, miss. It is a calculating machine. Hmm? Okay, the next one. Who wants to read this, the, the the second part of the text? I I don't want to be the only one talking here. So, can I read it? Yes, sure, of course. Please. Every day we encounter computers that spring. J'ai le l'écho. No, no, we we hear you perfectly. There was no problem. Bring to life to life is switch it. Or a 
example calculators. Fourth one. Okay, so you say every day we encounter computers that spring to life the instant they are switched on. For example, calculators, the car's electronic ignition, the timer in the microwave, or the programmer inside the VCR all of which use chip technology. Okay, so you say that C is number four. Yeah. Okay, we'll have it that way. The next one, who would like to read it? Hello. Miss, the next one is number one. It is a calculating machine that speeds up financial calculations. Mm -hmm. It is a So you say D goes with one. Yes. Okay. It is an electronic filling cabinet which manages large collections of data such as customers' lists, accounts, or inventories. In the magical circle. Okay. So, how about the last one? If you like gadgets and electronic entertainment, number three, Miss. You can even use Okay, and you can even use your PC to relax with computer games. Okay. Okay. Um vers la fin de la séance, je vais vous envoyer the keys. I will send you the correct answers, okay? Okay. Okay, so um, I have a question for you. What do you use your computers for, apart from studying or playing games? What do you use your computers for? Uh, the satellite, on the satellite. Mm -hmm. Military weapons. Military weapons, yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Miss, could you repeat the question? Okay, I said um, in the text, they give you uh, the uses of computers or what we can do with computers. Now I'm asking you, what are the other uses of computers? What do we use computers for, apart from what is being said in the text? Uh, bi biological research. Researches, yes, very good. Can you repeat the question, please? Okay, I said, what else do we use computers for robotics robotics yes mm -hmm. coding and pro programming and interacting with others by social media okay yes very good but okay let's say someone who has um, a, a limited function computer and um, they do not really know what all the other possibilities they have for using their computer what do you think would be the only option for them or not the only option but they mostly with their computers
uh, receive and uh, process and send data. Uh -huh, yeah, that's a good one. Yes, what was the question? Um, I said for, for someone who don't really know what they can do with their computers, what do you think would would um, or, or their use, their main use would be? Say, for example, research, researches. Yeah, for researches. Gaming. Playing games, playing games, playing attending games. online classes. Attending online classes, okay. And, Storing uh, and saving the uh, data. Very good. I was I was uh, aiming for that question. So, saving or storing their data. Very good. Thank you. Now, my next question is: According to the text, apart from computers, what other devices use microchips? What other? Uh, yes. Miss? Yes. The question is right there. Uh, the first uh, B. Read the text again and answer these questions. So the question is: Apart from computers, what are or what other devices use microchips? Miss calculators, uh, microwaves, uh, VCRs. Yes, calculators, microwaves. Smartphones, televisions. Yes. Console. Console, yes. That's it. Okay. Sensors. Yes. I, I think someone already said that one. Entertainment okay. devices. Entertainment devices. Yeah, very good. Okay, another question. Which two components allow computer systems to operate? Processor. Processor and? The memory. Memory. And the memory card. Is it just a card? Or... Okay, so the memory and the processor are the most or the two components allowing computer systems to operate. And what types of documents are prepared on computers? I am not understand your uh, question, Miss. Okay, I said... What are the types of documents that we prepare on computers? Text documents. Text documents. B binary data. Binary data. Audio documents. Audio documents? Yeah, video one. Video ones? Large data that we cannot memorize. Large data that we cannot memorize, yes. Very good. Movies? Movies. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have also legal documents, memos. Podcast. Podcast, books. yeah. Like books. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, and then the last one, the last question. Why do you think computers are called personal communicators? Do you want me to repeat the question? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. So, what is the reason behind us, or what makes 
computers being called personal communicators? Why are computers personal communicators? It's in the text. You look at the text again, you have it. In because, the, yeah? because we use it in the, the relationship. What do you mean? Use it in uh, so to use social media. We use it to use social media. Yes. It allows us to interact with other people. Very from good. All over the world. Very good. So it allows us or enables us to interact with other computers, with other people, from all over the world. Especially now with uh, the internet connection and uh, all the social media we have and platforms. It is now way more easier for us to interact with anyone from anywhere in the world. Okay. Is it good? Yeah, yeah it's good. Okay, shall we move to the next one? So, um, you still have the text in front of you. Now, I would like you to try and find synonyms of develop, suitable, accelerate, I'm typing them in the chat so you can have a quick look at them. Control. Allow and communicate. I'll give you one minute or two to try and find these the synonyms of the words I have typed in the chat right now. Can you repeat the word, please? Okay, so I said developed, suitable, accelerates, controls, allow, and communicate. I typed them in the chat. Um, you can take a look at them. But okay, we can go with the first one. So developed. Can you find the synonym in the text? Sorry, can you can you repeat, please? Uh, I said designed. Designed? Mm -hmm. Maybe that could be one. Sophisticated one. Sophisticated, yes. So, we can say sophisticated, but we can also use designed or prepared. Improved. Okay, the next one, suitable. Appropriate. Appropriate, very good. Uh, accelerate. No. Speeds up, yes, but also if you like, uh, if you look at the second paragraph, every day we encounter computers that spring to life. Here, spring, uh, it also means um, something that goes really fast. So that could be a synonym too. To accelerate, spring, okay? Um, next one, we have controls. To 
manage. Manage, very good. And allow. Enables. Enables. Yes, very good. Enables. Enables. Very good. And of course, the last one, communicate, is? Interact. Interact. Perfect. Very good. So, is the text clear for you? The text, the words, is everything good? Okay, thank you. So, now we will move to language, more like grammar part. So, it says, underline all the verbs in the text, say which tense is used, and then we select a sentence from the text and turn it into negative and interrogative form. So, we do this all together. Who wants to try first? Miss, we will use any. Yeah, you, if um, we will uh, On est toujours. Je vais garder la première page parce que la première page lui fait le texte. I only ha we only have the text in the first page, but I'm moving on with the activities in the next pages. Okay. So, um, yes. I can, okay, so if anybody would like to go first and try finding uh, the verbs in the text, I can give you the key, the, um, the whiteboard access so you can underline them. Does anybody like to try? Uh, Miss repeat question. Oh, I said, look at the text. You need to look at the text and underline the verbs. We're not using Sorry? We're now living, living, are living. We are living. Present so continuous. Present continuous. Present Very continuous. good. Very good. Present continuous. Next one. Call. Madam Sergeant, negative. Okay. Turn it into negative form. It's okay. I, I thought aren't. maybe you. We're not living. No, aren't, aren't. Yes, we aren't or we are not living in a digital age. Very good. Um, uh, have been Hold on for a question. Yes. You flip just are with we. Yes, are so we, we say, living? are we now living in a world, in uh, what some people call digital age. Very good. Yeah, Next if you one. want to make it in a question. Yes, very good. Have become. Okay. Uh, micro, uh, microchips have become part of our everyday life. So, have become. Which tense is it? Is it perfect? Isn't perfect. Okay. Um, can you turn it into negative form? We have not become. We have not become, uh, or microchips have not become part of our everyday life. And then the negative form, uh, pardon, the interrogative form, if you want to ask a question. Have you become? No, it's not you, it's microchips. So, have microchips become? Have part? microchips become. Yes, very good. Yeah. The next one. Miss. We pay bills. We pay bills. So we present. Present simple. Okay, negative present. form. Yeah. Uh, we don't. We don't. We don't pay bills. We don't pay bills, and then interrogative form. Uh, pay. Uh, pay we bills. Uh, 
no, no, no. Okay, in this case, we say do. Ah, uh, madam, uh, auxiliary, do, 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 do. Yes. Do, do, Very. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do we pay bills prepared yeah. by computers? Perfect. So if yeah, you because they don't have uh, we don't have uh, verb to be. Yes. Also, if you look at the sentence, we pay bills prepared by computers. If you look at prepared, it looks like a verb. It's like but it's an adjective. It is used as an adjective in here. Yes, exactly. So you need to pay attention. Okay. 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 Good. The next one. Just picking up a telephone and dialing a night. Every day we encounter computers. Encounter. Yes, every day we encounter. So which tense is it? Present simple. Present simple. Okay, let me ask you this one. Why is it present simple in this one? Um, it's uh, because uh, frequency yeah. adverb. Every day, yeah. almost. Very good. Frequency Frequ adverb, yeah. Frequency mm. adverb, every day. Almost, also, rarely. Yes, and also because it's a habit. It's something we do daily. Like It's a repeated um, action. It's a habit. Perfect. Okay, the next one. They are switched. Yes. Are switched. Are, okay. Negative form. They are not switched. Sorry about that. So, uh, the negative form we say are not switched. And then uh, the interrogative form would be? Are, you are they switched on? Are they switched on? Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, the next verb. So what use. Is use. It's simple. Okay, but first, look at the next sentence. Just the, the, the very next one. What, what makes, makes your, your computer? Okay, a miraculous device. So this is already a question. Yeah. The verb here is? In the present, miss. It is in the present. Makes. Makes. makes okay, yeah. so let Okay, and the negative form. What doesn't so what doesn't make you make your computer such miraculous device? Yes, very good. What no. doesn't make your computer such miraculous device? Each time you turn it on. Each time you turn it on. Okay. Is it simple? Present simple, negative form. You don't turn it on. Okay. And then to ask a question, we say. Do you turn it? Do you turn it on? Very good. Quickly move into the next one. It is a blank state. So it is. It is. On present simple. Negative form. It is. It is, it is not a blank. Okay, and then the interrogative form. Is it a blank state? Is it a blank state? Okay, thank you. Okay, so and then the same with the rest. That with appropriate hardware and software is capable of doing anything you ask. So is present simple verb to be. Is not, is it? Okay, let's look at another verb. Here are these. 
think this is it. Duras is just uh, to be in prison simple. It is an electronic device. It is um, a magical typewriter. Okay, that allows you. Again, prison simple. So the negative form would be. Yes. Doesn't allow. Yeah. Doesn't allow. Oh, sorry. Doesn't enable. Does not enable you to interact with other computers and people with people around the world. If you like gadgets and electronic entertainment, what is the verb here? If you like, you like. Okay, like if you, because if you don't like, it's a prison the, example. In yeah. the, the inter, interrogative, do you like? Do you like? Very good. Okay. Okay, can you see this page right now? Uh, put the verb between bracket in the correct tense. Say what yeah. they express in the sentence. Okay. Um, do you want me to zoom in? Or is it clear enough? No, no, it was perfect. Pardon? It was perfect. Okay, so is it good? Can you read perfectly? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. So let's dive right in. So the conference, the verb to start at 10 a.m. Will be starts. Thing will be starting. Mm. Starts. Mm. What do you... So? Okay, why do we say start? Why would we say start? Okay, I'm talking mainly about the Why should we use prison simple in here? No, in the near future, no, we don't, don't use prison simple. It's simply because it might be already said. So if the conference is something that usually starts at 10, we can only use prison simple. So it's like giving a schedule. Um, I wake up at 6. I can't say I'm going to wake up at 6 or I will wake up at 6. It's something that happens regularly. So I wake up at 6. The conference starts at 10 a.m. Okay? I'm not, it's, it's not like okay. giving a plan or talking about the near future or talking about something that um, will maybe happen soon. So it's a given. The conference starts at 10. Is Next one. Water to freeze at freezes. freezes. Okay? And why is it prison simple here? Pardon? Sorry? General truth. It's a general truth. Very good. It's a scientific fact also. It's, there is no way for water not to freeze at zero degrees. I usually yes. to read. I usually read. Yes. 
I usually read. So we use present simple because they have. Miss, I have frequency adverb. Usually. Very good. Yes, frequency adverb. Okay, she used to work as a media specialist. Would stay. Mm. Carlo, Carlo would stay. Would. No. Miss, miss. If uh, yes. you can use the present or the future. You can use the present. Yes. Yeah, the present the or the future, miss. No. Continuous. No, no, no. It's present continuous. Is staying with her aunt is the most correct answer. Miss, but we have few days. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so the action is going to happen for a very long, short period. And it's more like, um, um, it, it, it's not something that would um, last forever. Elle va juste passer quelques jours avec sa tante. So it's more like a plan. It's more like a plan than um, a daily or a habit activity. I mean, a habit uh, or Miss, we can, Miss, we can use Ghana. Yes, of course. She's going to stay with her aunt for a few days. That would be correct, too. Yeah. She's going to stay with her aunt. Yeah, that would be correct. But we can also say Greta is staying with her aunt. For example, you you call looking for her, like where's Greta, and somebody would be like, yeah, she's staying with her aunt for a few days. Like she's not here right now, but she is with her aunt, but for a very short period of time. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I to meet my friends at eleven a.m. I meet my friend at. I meet. Miss. Yeah, I meet. I'm I gonna will meet I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet Miss. Please. Yes, present continuous. I'm meeting. I'm meeting my friends, yes. I'm meeting my friends. Or I am going to meet my friends. Both yeah. could be correct um. in this game. Because we don't have um, any uh, mark of the time. So we are somehow free to use either I am going to meet my friends or I am meeting my friends at 11 a.m. Okay, the next one, a computer. Uh, miss, it's something really random. Can't we say, can't we use the future tense here? Um, I will meet could. my friend at 11 a.m. We could, but um, usually we leave uh future um we don't want to make it hard for ourselves because it's not uh the 11 a.m is just a few minutes from now so 
I, I, I'm meeting my friends at 11. So we don't have really specific um, um, come on, uh, a hint. We are not, we, can, we don't have to be very specific. But we say, I will meet once at 11. So this kind of activities is really tricky. This is why I think we avoid them in exams because you can have so many possibilities and so many answers and they can all be correct. Yeah. But yes, the, the most correct one is uh, I will be, uh, sorry, I'm going to my friend at 11 or I'm meeting my friend at 11. We avoid using the future. All right, the next one, number eight, doesn't understand because it's a fact. In order to communicate with your computer, you need codes and all those uh, commands to, yes, to speak about to communicate with your computer. So it doesn't understand. The next one, Sue, to see her friend tomorrow. All right. Would we'll see. Okay. We can say will see her friend tomorrow or is going to see her friend tomorrow. Yes, Hawla. We can say is going to see her friend tomorrow. Um, I to break my sister's pocket to oh. see today. Yeah? I broke. I broke. Very good. I broke, yeah, because we already have yesterday, so it's powerful. Uh, number 11, we to talk while she... Or 14 when she's reading. Mm, no, we were, or we are talking, yes, but we, you need to be careful. Either we say, we were talking while she was reading. She was or, reading, or... We are yeah. talking while she is reading. Very good, yes. So it has to be either both in the past or both in the present. You can um, use two different uh, senses. Okay? Um, number 12. I to play football when uh, when I hit my leg. And here is the ball. Yes. When I hurt my leg, very good. So playing football when I hurt my leg. So in here we have the first action to play uh, is in the uh, past continuous because it's an action that happened in the past and it took some time. And then the second action, which is to hurt, had it uh, interrupted the first one so I was playing freely and then suddenly I hurt my leg so when the second action interrupts the first one it has to be in the uh, simple sense in the past simple while the first one has to be in the past continuous okay 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 the next one I to leave left I left very good. I left university seven years ago. The next one, I to buy a EW computer. I bought. Very good. I bought. I bought. Yeah. So you see here, even if we don't have any adverb of frequency, any time of any anything, you can just tell that it's um in the past so sometimes um no you can say i will buy <laughs> yeah we it's based on logic it's because it's just one sentence so it's obviously in the past you can't use a different term 
2015, IT software developer since 1994. Very good. Very good. Um, you that? Yeah. And I have been a developer since 1994. Why? Present perfect. Because it's that it's action that happened in the past and still aggressively still carries on and have an effect on the present day. Okay? Okay. All right. I don't believe you have anything to say. The next one. I do a self-development. Of time, yeah. In also being present, yeah, 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 perfect. Present perfect. I have been yeah, 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 Okay, very good. The next one, I, to paint my room for painting. Who's painting for two hours? Who's painting my room for two hours? I don't think so. Okay, very good. Next one, who is painting my room for two hours? I don't think so. No, Miss, uh, present, uh, present perfect. Present perfect again. I have, yeah. uh, I have, I have uh, paint. Painting. Madam, paint. It's uh, regular or irregular? Uh, regular, regular. So painted. Regular. Don't paint yeah. it. Painted. I have painted my room for two hours. Does it sound right? I have. She sends faxes all the morning. Yes, machine past perfect continuous. I have been painting. Yeah. I have been painting. Yeah. Hamza, very good. I have been painting. I have been painting my room for two hours. It means I spent those two hours painting my room, doing nothing else. For just two hours. Not more, not less. Okay, um, if this is confusing, um, uh, I will... Later on, I will uh, try and send you the keys. And I will also prepare a short uh, document for you explaining all different tenses with examples, making it um, easier to remember, if you like. Uh, and I will send it. I'll share it with uh, who will share with anyone. Okay. The next one, a key. Okay, key to send since all morning. Thanks. Mm -mm. No. She has been has been. She has. She won. She has been sent. Yeah. She has been sending fax all morning. Or there's another one we can in here. She was sending faxes all morning. Yeah. And sending faxes all morning. Or she was sending all morning. Yes. Yeah. What's the difference between gone and been? Uh, yeah, in the present perfect. 
c'est deux verbes différents. Uh, one, c'est le participle to go. Donc, go in the present. Uh, negative, sorry. Um, uh, infinitive, sorry. In the infinitive form, we say go. As in friend, plus participle, but. I know, miss, I know. I want to say, I want to say, for example, I want to go to France. On and I have, I, have I have two friends. What's different? I have been. Um, okay. So, uh, you see, it's more like, uh, comment dire? J'étais en France et j'étais partie en France. Voilà. Uh, donc, gone. Uh, we used to describe a completed visit. So if you, for example, visited a place, uh, for example, you have been to France. You went to France, you spent some time there, and then you came back. So yeah. you say, I have been to France. But then if you, for example, uh, uh, visit a place, but you don't come back home yet. You, you're not back home. You say, I have gone. So, for example, uh, Ayman has been to France last year. So you went to France, spent some time there, and then you came back. But then if I say, Ayman has gone to France, so he settled down and he's still there. He's not back yet. Uh, well, voilà. Thank you, miss. Gone to Parti et resté. Ben, tu es à l'université de ce moment. Je suis à l'université, oui. Par contre, I have gone to university. To. Pas à l'université. Yeah. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. OK, so. Uh, do you guys want to continue or should we stop here? Stop, I think. I'm okay, tired and kind of busy right now. I know, I know, I know. I really don't want to hold you back. Thank you so much. Uh, but just, I have one request. Okay? Can I wait in? So at, at the eight, uh, he's been sending faxes all morning. You have 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, and 20, uh, 24, and 25. Can you please try and do them um, alone at home as a teeny tiny homework? Yeah, of course. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. So please do them. Um, you can uh, uh, ask for my email address from your delegate, or I'll put it here. And you can send them to me, or um, uh, if you have WhatsApp or anything, um, I'll share my number with you later on and you can send it. So, just to make you um, do something uh, in English, that's all. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. I promise it won't happen again. I promise. Um, if you have any questions, if you need help, if anything, just feel free to contact me, write me an email or Shoot me a message on WhatsApp anytime. I will be available for you. And thank you. Oh, and um, if you don't like the platform, also let me know. So I can set up uh, another thing on Google Meet. Oh, nice.